here and today I'm going to talk about my experiences with Yukon at Yukon which is a free convention that happens in Yukon campus and it's still going on right now as I yap about it so uh, I got there at about I want to say nine ish I suppose and uh, you know, I met up with uh, the doctor, uh, the sixth incarnation, pretty cool cosplayer. He uh, he ended up doing a panel, which was after my duct tape cosplay panel. He did a panel about uh, conventions in New England, which I took a few pictures of, and uh, it seemed pretty informative for the times that I was there. My time was limited, so. I couldn't really focus on too many things besides uh, my panels and uh, taking as many pictures as possible. Uh, for the most part, you know, it's it's one of those things where I remember it being somewhat bigger when they had uh, Nostalgia Critic there so many years ago. Um, this year, it seemed to me like yes, there was a, there was you know a substantial amount of people, but it seems smaller compared to what I remember or maybe I'm just you know maybe it's because I haven't really been there in so long or hasn't been around in so long that's like I'm remembering incorrectly but overall it's it was fun I saw plenty of Akatsuki there which was fun uh, when I changed into Mellow at one point uh, there was an L there and we hugged and that was cool I saw Tal Naruto, he was hanging out, it was, it's been years since I've seen Tal Naruto, literally, so uh, it was always nice to see the peeps. Uh, this was also the last convention that, where did I put that button? Uh, I think it's A and D uh, duct tape, it's uh, her last year as a vendor because she's moving, doing something with uh, nuclear physics which is pretty freaking cool that's very awesome uh, I tried out a new panel for this convention which was cosplay roleplay and that went rather well uh, I went up against opening ceremonies so only uh, a few people showed up but I timed it uh, very perfectly because uh, everyone who participated got a reward you know it wasn't much but it was Star Wars so that's always fun uh, I decided that this role-playing experience based on uh, the characters that people came up with, with uh, it basically <laughs> turned into a somewhat uh, Smash Brothers related RPG where the general gist was Ganondorf uh, kidnapped Mario using Bowser's uh, battleship to uh, try to get the heroes, Luigi, uh, one of the guys from Fire Emblem, uh, Jumpman, Link, Zelda, and Toad, Toad from the uh, alternate movie, the Toad with the machine guns. Oh man, I wish I could remember what that movie is called, but uh, he was the badass Toad. And if you guys see YouTube, uh, he had a a fight with uh, it was like a live action version he had a fight with bullet bill that's the video that I'm talking about so that badass toad was in there so it was like all mixed in together and very cool stuff I used my experiences from uh, watching Dungeons and Dragons through Twitch and uh, running games myself and uh, yeah I think that's gonna become one of my panel stables uh, when I go to AAC uh, it's it's too late for me to do any panels at Anime Boston, uh, and uh, my Mystery Science Theater panel at Anime Boston got rejected anyway. So I'm up a creek there. But uh, yeah, let's get back to Yukon at Yukon. Uh, I met up with these two really cool uh, Life is Strange cosplayers. They were very neat, and uh, we shot the shit about uh, Life is Strange and. They even told me some info about uh, part two, which uh, kind of disappointed me, but excited me at the same time. Uh, the vendor's room slash dealer's room uh, was, from my knowledge, it was in the room, well, from what I remember, where uh, 
Doug Walker was there selling his, uh, I think it was Kick Asia so many years ago. That big room next to the uh, smaller panel rooms. Uh, I tried to find someone to play uh, a game of Yu-Gi-Oh with, but the guy who I talked to didn't have a complete deck, so, you know, that that turned out uh, not to work. But uh, overall, pretty fun convention. You know, the usual crowd was there from what I remember. I saw Ice Queen dressing up as a uh, killer, uh, killer something or another. She had a... Uh, this red stuff on her on her lips and a, like a white cloak. I know it's killer something. I don't remember the character correctly, but she may be something different tomorrow if she comes tomorrow. Sadly, uh, I won't be able to because uh, I only had enough time to be there for today only. And uh, turns out I got here early for nothing because uh, my friend who was supposed to come by my house uh, couldn't make it but you know it is what it is sometimes uh, those are the things that happen and uh, for a small free convention very cool you know this one has always has free parking and uh, it's a very enjoyable experience uh, I also got a chance to see I really don't know what his name is or his Facebook is, but he's always dressing up as uh, uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. He did this panel about uh, Dracula, which was pretty informative. And obviously, he's running the death match for Yukon at Yukon tomorrow. So who knows? If there's a stroke of miracle, I may somehow up here I don't know it would be nice if I could but I doubt it I mean if I somehow came up to at least an extra 20 bucks to get my off my ass down there would be awesome but I don't think it's gonna happen so yeah uh, also had a small talk with the uh, con chair of Lock City Comic Con which is uh, happening in I think it's I think it's either June or July, around there, in Stanford. So that should be interesting. I bought these, uh, these like bottle cap uh, decorum things. One was uh, Darth Maul, the other was the Fourth Doctor, uh, the other was uh, Atari, and uh, Amelia Pond. I tried to find. Uh, the lead heroine from uh, the new Star Wars, but sadly he was sold out of that. But uh, it was four for ten, and uh, and I had enough money to afford that, so that was cool. But now I'm very very poor to where I got to be conservative with what little money I have left. I mean, even if I wanted to get there tomorrow for the last day of Yukon at Yukon, that's it. I would have no money until you know the first or whatever. But enough about me and more about the con. Uh, very cool cosplayers. Um, definitely, uh, definitely saw a few fandoms here and there. Uh, this really nice Cami cosplayer was there. I told her about uh, how the Street Fighter 2, I think it's Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, for the 3DO was like a very very good translation of the arcade. It's probably the, the one game that made uh, Street Fighter 2 stand out as much. So while uh, at my duct tape cosplay panel, uh, I made a nice uh, black glove for... She was dressed up as one of the Doctor Who characters, uh, the female character who who gets killed by the Master, or now she's called uh, uh, Missy or Mistress. She was the one with the fourth scarf, and uh, I took a picture of her to highlight the glove, and it was fun, you know. I enlightened the peeps about uh, the duct tape scholarship, 
if you don't know about it you can google it it's pretty cool uh, for those who are young uh, if you're skilled with duct tape and you go to the prom and and wear it or whatever or spend a lot of time putting it together you have an opportunity to win like a ten thousand dollar scholarship for the grand prize or they have many different sub prizes but there's many opportunities to get different scholarships based on your level of skill and you know level of dedication that you deal with it and I think that's pretty much it about the con I mean overall very good experience uh, it's always nice seeing uh, people that you see at like other conventions like Anime Boston, AAC, uh, Kineticon, and uh, all the other ones in the uh, East Coast. You know, you got Hartford Comic Con. You even got that. Uh, uh, let me see what else is uh, the new one. There's a few new ones that I haven't heard about that that are happening next week that were highlighted at the cons uh, of New England panel so that one was pretty informative for the people to figure out you know if you have spare money which one to go to next so that was definitely worth a uh, recommendation and I think that's it I'm gonna bring it into this video and uh, thank you guys for watching and if you live in Connecticut or somewhere near I would definitely recommend Yukon at Yukon because it's free and it's very fun and uh, who knows, maybe you can be a part of uh, cosplay roleplay with me or uh, cosplay duct tape or duct tape cosplay, whatever the hell I call it. So I will catch you guys later. And uh, 